welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today, we have some exciting updates on the potential takeover of Manchester United. It seems like the race is heating up between two prominent figures. Let's dive into the details. Sheikh Jassim, the Qatari banker, has been actively pursuing the purchase of full control of the troubled Premier League club. However, he faces tough competition from Sir Jim Ratcliffe, one of Britain's wealthiest individuals and the head of Ineos petrochemical firm. Reports suggest that Ratcliffe's offer to buy a share in the club could be approved, as Manchester United's board is set to hold a meeting next week. But hold on, sources close to Sheikh Jassim's camp insist that nothing has changed. They believe that the status quo remains, and there is still no clarity on when a decision will be made. Both Sheikh Jassim and Ratcliffe have submitted bids, but neither has met the club's valuation of £6 billion. However, Ratcliffe might have an advantage. He is willing to structure his deal in a way that allows the Glazer family to retain their positions on the board in the short to medium term before handing over control. So, who are these potential buyers? Sheikh Jassim, the Qatari banker, hails from a prestigious background. His father is a former Qatari prime minister, and he has studied in the UK. He claims to be a lifelong fan of Manchester United. On the other hand, Ratcliffe, who was born in Greater Manchester, also claims to be a lifelong fan of the club. He has extensive experience in sports ownership, with Ineos owning French top-flight side Nice, Swiss club Lausanne Sport, and a prominent cycling team. As the bidding process continues, both Sheikh Jassim and Ratcliffe have had the opportunity to visit Manchester United's training ground and Old Trafford. They have engaged in discussions with senior officials, showcasing their commitment to the club's future. Manchester United's on-field performance has also been a topic of concern. Currently sitting at 10th place in the Premier League table, the team has also suffered losses in their first two Champions League matches. Off-field issues and protests against the Glazer siblings, who acquired the club in 2005, have further intensified the pressure. Stay tuned as we bring you more updates on this exciting takeover race. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest football news. Until next time, this is Soccer News Center, signing off.